Well, I suppose I better get out of here before that overenthusiastic group of carolers makes their way in here. Have you heard the story that they're telling, Babette? Have you heard the story of the Jesus child? Oh, too late. Let's head out the back. How he came from heaven and was born in a manger bed. To the windows! Mary was his virgin mother, pure and mild. Oh, my God, they got Quagmire! Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Worship the Jesus child and praise his mother mild. Coming this holiday season, it's Star Blizzard, using laser technology to shower your home in a blizzard of dazzling lights. So much easier than stringing Christmas lights. I can light up my whole house for just pennies a day. I looked into it and now I'm blind. Honey, the house looks great. Who's there? Hey, Frank, could you turn that off? My cat's freaking out. Who's that now? I don't know voices yet, I'm new blind. Star Blizzard, happy holidays and just don't look into it. Oh, Pete, are you finally home? Yep, just in time to watch Patrick Swayze's Christmas in Wonderland. Well, before you sit down, I just need you to do a couple things. Okay, first, I need you to take down last year's Christmas lights and put up this year's Christmas lights. Then I need you to get the eggnog cups out of the attic and bump your head on a low eave. After that, take my cousins to the airport and pick up my other cousins at a different farther away airport. Then shovel and salt the walk. Then shovel and salt the driveway. Then shovel and salt Mrs. Whitaker's driveway. She's 96 and has no one to help her. We need four netted bags of cinnamon pine cones. Get the bags at Hobby Lobby and the pine cones at Pier 1. Next, inflate the giant snowman and put it on our front lawn. The pump's broken, so you'll have to do it by mouth. Then it's just laundry, take out the trash, and move the house a little bit to the left. Uh, can I do some of that tomorrow? No, because tomorrow we're going down to volunteer at the homeless shelter. What time will you be back? You're coming with us. What? What does that have to do with Christmas? Peter, it's a holiday of giving back. Yeah, but bums? What kind of presents would they possibly have for us? Bags full of bags full of bags? You know what, Peter? I've had it. I'm tired of your selfishness. It's setting a bad example for our children. Kids, get your coats. Oh, is this it? Is this the divorce? Coats? Where are you guys going? Every year, my parents invite us to their house to enjoy Christmas in Newport. And every year, we don't go because you don't want to. Well, this year, I am going, and the kids are coming with me. Go ahead. I'm fine by myself. I'll just watch my Patrick Swayze movie and take a two-full bath. Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Well, that didn't work. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet dump. Merry Christmas, kids. Merry Christmas in Wonderland. Aha! Ah, I love you, Patrick Swayze. Peter, Peter Griffin. Hello? Santa? Santa? You think Santa could fit into a pair of 22-inch waist jeans? Patrick Swayze? How is that even possible? You're dead! Haven't you ever seen Ghost? Peter, you're in trouble. So I've come back to help you recapture the true spirit of Christmas. <gasps> ghost House. Road House. Ghost Road. House House. Road Ghost. The ghost of Patrick Swayze! I can't believe it! I just want to run through your hair like a dog bouncing in tall grass. Go ahead. <laughs> Yay! That was awesome! Hey, where are we? Peter, you've lost your Christmas spirit, so I'm taking you on a journey to Christmas Pass to find it. Oh, wow! This is my old house from when I was a little kid. That's right, Peter. I've taken you all the way back to the year 1970-80-90. I'll never forget that year when President Richard Reagan Clinton lied to the American people. And then another. And then another.